Our student speaker today, he is an outstanding safety at Michigan State, and as you're about to hear, he is also an outstanding member of his community. Please welcome Kari Willis. Thank you. Uh, when Coach D initially told me that I was speaking, uh, I was kind of nervous, uh, not going to lie, but uh, he told me it was an opportunity for me to tell my story. My mentality on game day is what we like to call a Spartan dog mentality. You got guys, you know, out there talking trash, you know, you talking trash back and forth, gets chippy at times. That's part of me that I like to express myself in a way that's outgoing, free-flowing, and then, you know, whatever happens, happens as long as everything is within the rule of the game. Kari Willis drops him. Lofted it near the right sideline. Nice play there. And it is incomplete. Kari Willis hit him at just the right time. Once the ball is snapped, I just try to go full speed. There's a lot of pressure. Hit as he throws. It's picked off. The Spartans get the interception. It's Kari Willis who's having himself a heck of a game. My hometown, uh, Jackson, Michigan, is about 35 minutes away from East Lansing. I like to come back when we have a day off or something. I'll be taking my mind off the game, bringing me back down to earth from the game last night. How much room is down here? Drake. Drake. Uh, Yachty, whatever his name is. You calling names? Oh, yeah. You said Drake name? Jackson, uh, it's a real small town. Growing up on the south side entails poverty, gang violence. Some of us are dealt hands that are a little bit less favorable than people who grew up in other neighborhoods. I see a lot of people look like me dealing with the same things that I dealt with growing up as a kid. Early in my life, I was very, very young. One of my friends, uh, kind of close to me, he's a little bit younger than me, you know, had been, you know, basically beaten to death uh, by his, like, by his, like, a stepfather, and he passed, and that was kind of like an eye-opener of where I am. It drive me to be part of the solution and not the problem. My dad has been a director here for about 20-plus years. Right now, you guys making all one move. You're not going to get two guys in one move. He's always have a big voice here in our community. You still got to get to your spot. You still got to get to your spot. Get to your spot. Seeing him help out a lot of people athletically, socially, helping people with their marriage. He played counselor, peacemaker a lot. Jab, jab, cross. I've seen him go down to the courtroom and try to talk judges into lightening up things for some of the people that he know. That's just inspiring. Let's go, good job. Too fast. Take your time, set him up. Kari, he's always been a really, really good athlete. Come on, that's quick. Stay low, stay low. But good. at some point, good. he started to aspire to be beyond normal. He wanted something deeper. He began working in the summers down here. I want to say probably when he was about 14. Kind of starts off in maintenance where he has to sweep, uh, mop floors, sweep, different things like that until you show that uh, you get an opportunity to lead a group, you step out. When he got that opportunity, he leapt on it. When y'all turn in, the ball should stay here. It should never be left out here. You got me? Don't leave the ball. Guard it with your body and quick turn. Come on. Almost every time that they get a day off, Kyrie usually comes down. There it is, right there. He'll have something already lined up with another kid to sit down in the office and go over there, film with him. He's still beginning in trouble. He, he, he actually, he turned, he, I'm telling you, he turned the corner. Sometimes he'll be going out to the prison and have him speak with people out there. To have him come from here, go to the platform that he's been given, and come back and get, reach out to these young people, help them understand that, yes, you see me on TV, but this is home, and if, if I can help you achieve something, I want to do that. Come on. Sit you sitting on me? Is you? What about that? I'm sitting on Kai's from right here. Kai's from King Center. Everybody knows that, right? I'll let him tell you what it took for him to get where he is and what you guys have to do to follow a similar path. Yeah, I say the biggest thing, man, is just um, the off the, off the court, off the field things. Obviously, everybody want to want to play and everybody want to make it. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen for every single person. But you can still make it by school. You can still make it by making good choices. You know, where you need to be, you're going to start being realistic with yourself and how you weigh up against, you know, other people from other places or other people here. 
and then, uh, then you adjust. So if you're not working hard enough or if they're better than you, you know, you should feel some type of way about that as a competitor. But uh, also, if you're not the best in your class, you should feel some type of way about that too. So don't think that you just could be competitive out here and then come back and go in the classroom and be the worst guy. That shows a little bit about your competitive nature too. All right, Dr. Juwan Gajufu has one of my favorite sayings. I say that to, the, to my kids all the time, they're probably tired of hearing it. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You say you want to play for whatever university, but every time I see you, you with guys that don't go to class. You with guys that don't compete. You with guys that don't want to be better. How, how can you be better if that's all you hang around? Yeah, that's, 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 called, that's called being a leader. Captain, number one, Kari Willis. Hey! Everyone calls him Cap. 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 Captain. Yo. Cap. The the speeches he gives, the speeches he gives in front of the team, um, he represents pretty well, man. The name on the, the front of it, the jersey as well, on the back. The Big Ten media speech. Now, I can never, you know, be grateful enough for you giving me the opportunity, Coach D. Um, not only represent this school, uh, but myself and my family and everything I stand for, um, I don't know if I ever have a platform like that in my life ever again. There's an old saying that my father used to use, and he still uses it to this day, and that saying is, if you blow my candle out, that won't make your candle shine any brighter. So let's go back, let's light these candles in these communities. I feel that the rest of the 40 plus players that are here, we have that opportunity, and I hope that we can all uh, make our communities better by going back and giving back. Thank you very much, God bless you, go green. Thanks, thanks. You killed that. That was unbelievable. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.